My name is Tim Johnson. I was born and raised in Fallen, Kansas, which is a town of 90 people in Saline County, and started off college. My first two years at WSU just really not knowing what I wanted to do, exploring. And so it was kind of fun for two years. And then I knew I kind of was going to go into healthcare or something, didn't know for sure what, and was going again to a different college. And so I decided to go into nursing. So it was Dr. Elaine Harvey, who was Dean of the School of Nursing, was the one that got me to Fort Hayes. And I ended up coming out here with four years of college under my belt. So I don't know if that makes me a non-traditional student or just a dysfunctional student. But anyway, I came out here in 1979 to specifically get a degree in nursing. And at that time, it was a school of nursing. And we were on the second floor of Sheridan Hall. And I was the seventh male nurse, nursing student that was rejected by Marymount. And when I came out here in the fall of 79, I was one of seven male nursing students. And essentially, because at that time, the nursing program was a prorated, you could work at your own pace, I was essentially able to finish up in January of 82. So that's when I left, even though I didn't officially graduate until May. That was it. I came out here with a, you know, focus to, it's like, I had my <laughs> years of fun. It's like, okay, I came out here to work. So that's, I was putting myself through school. So every Friday and Saturday night, I wasn't partying. I was uh, ICU monitor at the old Hadley and then the, uh, what used to be St. Anthony's, uh, Holy Tony's back in those days. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was shocked when I heard the hospitals merged. <laughs> I started out collecting, I think it was, my mother was an educator. And growing up in a small town, to get us out of the house, we took walks in the pastures, we collected rocks, we collected whatever we could find. And uh, my dad was a small town banker and the fire department, fire marshal at that time for Saline County, uh, said he had to clean out the basement. Well, the bank was founded in 1907. They had paper records going back that far. So my brother, my job was to clear out the basement. But as we dug back, we got into the, all of this earlier stuff from when the bank was first started. And my dad said, well, we better start keeping this. And now this doesn't exist. So early on, it was, we started collecting my memorabilia from my hometown. And my dad also being the small town banker, knew everybody and people would come with little fallen memorabilia and go, you know, we found this cleaning out something. Why don't you Put it, so my dad got a display case and put it up in the bank and we started a little fallen historical group. And so whenever I would be out running around after I went to college, I started collecting hometown fallen postcards just to go with the other fallen memorabilia. And as I started wandering the Midwest, going to various schools, what some people went fishing, other people did what, I went junking. I hit flea markets and stuff like that, looking for fallen memorabilia. And it's like, couldn't find Fallen, I'd find something else and be like, oh, okay, well, that town doesn't exist anymore. I'll just pick that up. And also, I was a stamp collector from early on, so that got me into the discontinued post office cancels and the postal history. So it was just kind of an evolution thing. On the east and west coast, major cities, postcards were already being printed. The earliest postcards were being printed in England in the 1840s, I think. And what intrigued me is these were actual snapshots of a moment in time. And they're like photojournalists. You had all of these young men and some young women running around with these folding cameras documenting daily life at the turn of the Kansas century. And I just got fascinated with that. And sometimes the messages on the back it identifies who they are and what they were doing on that certain day. And only then does that exist still. What started Fort Hayes getting this stuff was the Bowen collection. And that came to me totally out of the blue by a postal history dealer I was dealing with out of Denver. Because the envelopes were gone and the stamps were gone, the cancellation. And he uh, sent me a letter and sent them saying, Tim, these just walked in. Uh, I know you're a big, you know, you like early Kansas history. Are you interested? And I said, sure. It went to a box for about 25 years. I looked through it. I knew it dealt with a court martial from a Kansas 
uh, Civil War uh, colonel. And then I got to looking through this and it started, the, there was information on him on finding the organization that went to this battle in Arkansas. I think it was Arkansas. But it got put away for 25 years and I was working out here. I moved back in 2010 to finish my anesthesia career and was thinking about downloading. You know, what am I gonna do with this stuff? And it's too bad and I got in touch with Patty Nicholas. Going through, I thought I wondered for Hayes Special Collections. Patty said, sure. So I came over and she was thrilled with it and then I don't know how long it took, but it hit the internet and it just blew up. And Patty called me and said, there's some people that want to talk to you, is that okay? And I said, sure. So I talked to a couple of people that called about information and with talking to Patty, it's just like, well, you know, I've got some other stuff. Would you be interested in that? And it's like, sure. <laughs> and then it was just like, okay, I dropped that stuff off. And since you're getting the library, do you want the maps? <laughs> well, sure, the maps came and then the big photographs came and then it just thought, okay, you know, as time progresses, time waits for nobody. It's like, what am I going to do with all this stuff? You know, it's been in boxes. I've been collecting this stuff for 40 years. How can it live? And from what the Special Collections Department of Fort Hayes had their interest, I thought, let's just see what they do with it. And so far, it's just been fabulous. Mm -hmm.